Hello friends, this video on weather, climate and adaptations part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So with this we have reached towards the end of this lesson and we got to see here that climate, what is climate, what is weather and how various animals are adapting themselves depending upon the climate of the place where they live. Question number one. Name the elements that determine the weather of a place. Now, as I have mentioned before also that weather is not just one thing. It is like a lot of factors and how are all these parameters behaving at a particular place that will define the weather of that place for a particular day. So the important elements are temperature. If the temperature is very high, it is hot. If the temperature is very low, then the weather is cold. Rainfall, too much of rain, if the weather is kind of rainy. Humidity, the amount of moisture that is present in the environment and normally the humidity is high before and after rainfall. Wind speed, so with what speed wind is blowing. Now sometimes it is like extreme high speed. So that weather is again not a very pleasant weather to be in. Clouds, so whether it's a cloudy day or not, depends on the presence or absence of clouds. Question number two. When are the maximum and minimum temperatures likely to occur during the day? Now, as you see, maximum temperature happens in the afternoon because as I said, this variation of temperature during throughout the day happens due to the rotation of the earth. Now, as the earth rotates, different parts of it get uh, exposed to the sun at different intervals of time. So, it's somewhere during the afternoon, maximum amount of heat reaches from the sun to the earth and therefore the temperature is maximum during this time. Whereas, minimum temperature is observed early in the morning. So, that, that's the time when the temperature is at it at the least. Question number three, fill in the blanks. The average weather taken over a long time is called, so that is climate and that is how climate is different from weather. So weather is always about a, on a daily basis. So it changes on daily basis. So when we talk about environmental conditions of a particular day, we are talking about weather. But when we talk about the average weather over maybe 20, 25 years, so that's the climate of that place. A place receives very little rainfall and the temperature is high throughout the year. The climate of that place will be dash and dash. Very little rainfall. So if there is not much rainfall, so there is not much water. So the place is going to be dry with little rainfall. And when you say the temperature is very high, that will make the place quite hot. Right. So that place, the climate of that place is going to be dry and hot. Now, when you say that climate of the place will be dry and hot, that doesn't mean that every day that the weather of that place will be hot and dry. It might rain someday. But when you take an average over a long period of time, you find that most of the time it doesn't rain much. So overall, there is very little rainfall and therefore the place is dry and hot. The two regions of the earth with extreme climatic conditions are, which are the two regions? The polar regions and the equatorial regions. So the regions near the poles and the regions near the equator. Because near the poles, as I said, now if you look at the location of the poles and the equator, you see the temperature has to be different in the two areas. That's because the poles are not much exposed to the heat of the sun. They are like to the, at the extreme corners. So therefore it is very cold, extremely cold near the poles, whereas near the equator it is moderately hot. And that's why India is located quite near to the equator and therefore it's moderately hot. In in India. So the regions which are located near the poles they are called the polar regions and the regions which are located near the equator they are called tropical regions. Question number four. Indicate the type of climate of the following areas. 
Jammu and Kashmir. So when you say climate, it's like the overall weather, normally how the weather should be. So however, if you want to give the accurate value of climate, you actually need to study the weather patterns for the last 10-15 years. Only then you should be able to answer this. But since we are all aware of the kind of weather which prevails in these parts of the country, so we should be able to answer it. So when I say Jammu and Kashmir, it is moderately hot and moderately wet so there is not too much of rainfall again there is not too much of heat so summers are not that hot so it's like moderate hot and moderate wet Kerala so Kerala has a lot of rainfall during the rainy season and again the heat is also quite a bit so it is hot and wet talk about Rajasthan it is definitely going to be dry because there is not much rainfall and it is hot because the temperatures really go quite high. Northeast India, so Northeast India where you have Manipur um, and uh, the Northeastern states, so and Arunachal Pradesh, so there you have heavy rainfall, so obviously they are going to be the wet states. Question number five, which of the two changes frequently, weather or climate? Now, when you talk about weather, weather is something which is short term. So, uh, on daily basis, weather keeps changing. In fact, in the same day also, the weather, the temperature, the elements of weather changes. Temperature might change in, in one day itself. Temperature might change in a couple of hours. Rainfall might change, correct? But when you talk about climate, it is over a long period of time. So, looking at the weather patterns over a long period of time, you decide the climate of that place. So, if you ask which changes more frequently, Yes, definitely weather changes more frequently. So weather changes more frequently than climate. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.